Derby Day once more. And on Epsom Downs, Mecca of sporting thousands from near and far, half a million people, from His Majesty the King to the humblest company, are here to see the 151st renewal of the Derby Stakes. Tic Tac men flash up to the second odds over the course, while excited thousands pose the great question. I say, uh, uh, do tell me what's going to win the Derby. Certainly. Well, I, I wonder what's going to beat this Colombo. The big moment draws near, and with millions depending on them, the crack three-year-olds parade before the start. Number five, the most fancied outsider, Medieval Knight, with the popular Steve Donahue in the saddle. And number seven, Colombo, which has been considered the nearest thing to a dead cert for years. A six to four favorite with W. Johnston, the Australian jockey up. Number 14, wins a lad, backed by all the ladies and look for to fulfill the prophecy of Gypsy Lee. And now His Majesty joins the merry throng in pondering that mighty question, will the favorite win? Coming up the hill. They're bunched together with the favourites well up. Medieval Knight, Colombo, Bondsman, and Eastman are well to the front. Bondsman second, going well, a possible winner. Colombo's lying fourth, but he's going well within himself. Now he's third. Medieval Knight has the lead. Colombo's there with Bondsman and Eastman close up. Round that corner and into the straight. The critical point in the Derby course. Wins the lads first now with Colombo second. There's hardly anything in it. Wins the lads in the lead, drawing away from the great Colombo and Easton. Colombo took it too wide. He can't make it up now. It's the Derby finish of the century. Wins the lad will do it. Easton and Colombo are neck and neck, but they won't catch him. Come along, wins the lads, and wins the lads win. And once again, an Eastern sportsman provides a solution to this great perplexing question with his popular victory, Windsor Lad. <laughs> 